In this era of uncertainty and of resurgent great power competition, rules are what will protect us. And it's not enough for them to just be written down somewhere. We must advocate for them, stand up for them, and live by them. History will judge us on how we defend democratic values. And Ukraine is at the tip of the spear in this great challenge of the 21st century. That's why Canada and Canadians are there for Ukraine and why we stand so unequivocally against Russia. Lensky would cave in the face of personal peril. So Today, we are making a longer-term, multi-year commitment that provides predictable, steady support to Ukraine. It will include $650 million over three years for 50 armored vehicles, including medical evacuation vehicles that will be built by Canadian workers in London, Ontario. We'll also send F-16 trainers for pilots and for maintenance so Ukrainians are able to maximize their use of donated fighter jets. In this chamber, to see so many proud and courageous Ukrainians here today. But democracy does not happen by accident, and it will not continue without effort. We must defend it and strengthen it with all that we have. Volodymyr, my friend, you have a unique understanding of this. You stare down Putin every single day. And we will be with you and all heroes of this courageous fight for as long as it takes. Slava Ukraini! Mr. Speaker, it is now my distinct honor to welcome President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine to address this House. is genocide what Russian occupiers are doing to Ukraine and when we want to win when we call on the world to support us it is not just about an ordinary conflict it is about saving lives of millions of people literally physical salvation ordinary women and men children, our families, whole communities, entire cities, Russia's destruction of Mariupol, of Valnavaha, or Bakhmut, or any other city or village in Ukraine must not go unpunished. This Russian aggression must end with our victory. Yes. Yes. So that, so that Russia will never bring back genocide to Ukraine and will never ever try to do so, Moscow must lose once and for all, and it will lose. Neutrality looks Ukraine and Canada are the same. We stand and we fight for life. Ukraine, not genocide, will be victorious in this war. People will be the winners, not the Kremlin. Freedom will be the winner, justice will be the winner. You can know this for sure about us. Because you know for sure about yourself that you would never submit to evil.
Je t'en remercie, Canada. <laughs> Governor General of Canada, Honorable Mary Simon, and she taught me, she taught me a word from her mother tongue. Ayuinata. Ayuinata. She said the meaning of this word is don't give up. Don't give up. Stay strong against all odds. And so shall it be. Ayuinata. Canada. Ayuinata. Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.